Hello, I'm Tommy Wolf from the Bartuzza Lab, and in this picture video, we're going to teach you how to bag off, motherfucker. So, using a bag in self defense. A lot of us for work, if we commute, we take a laptop bag, we take a rucksack. If we're traveling, if we're on a gap year, many of us, when we're outside in the big, bad, wide old world, we take some degree of transportation luggage with us. And so, in this video, I just wanted to go through some of the ways you can defend yourself by using a bag, a backpack, a luggage case, a laptop case. Important uses of the bag. Typically, the bag is used against bladed articles. So, for example, anything from a normal knife into attacks with standing blades to huge old kind of big knife stabbings. If you've got a bag, you've got a shield. If you've got a shield, you've got time. And time gives you opportunity to get yourself together, to acquire another weapon, to acquire friends to assist you, or for the authorities to arrive. So whilst using a shielding item won't keep you safe forever, it does buy you the magical and undeniably useful gift of time. So if you feel a situation is about to occur, and you've got no other reasonable self-defense weapons on you, and you cannot escape the scene, one of the best things you can do is A, make sure that you take your bag off, and B, know what to do with it. Now, you can, in some scenarios, just rely on the act of chucking the bag at an assailant. So the assailant's got something, if there's plenty of room for me to exit, pushing this into his face at range, doing one might be all I need might be all I need but it's a higher risk strategy because if you're close enough to throw it their ability to block it dodge it swat it out of the way and or chase you down is relatively high so I'll take you through how we in the Bartitsu lab use the bag for self-defense now Bob doesn't have any arms because he's had a tough life but assuming that Bob had arms and Bob had blades one of the main things we want to be doing is holding either end of the bag and want to be proactively striking where the blade is going. So we don't want to wait, we don't want to take the bag, we don't want to take the knife on the body, we're proactively pushing hard with our triceps to get this bag in the way of the bladed article. So if it's striking high, striking low, striking to the center, we're always attacking that blow, we're always muffling that blow, we're taking some of the lethality out of the knife. So you need to be fast and explosive and dynamic. So one of the first drills you want to get used to is in situational awareness, A, I've removed my backpack. B, if there's no other way for me to defend myself and I need to use this shield, don't do it passively. You still need to be aggressive in smashing away those blows, high or low. You need to muffle it and be oppressive with it. Don't just always walk backwards put some of your impetus into the muffling attack. And again, by impetus, I don't mean put your body there. Don't put my body in the way of the blade. But when I'm smashing this, I need some force, some weight behind it, so it stops that knife. You don't need a huge amount of strength to muffle or prevent the knife having a very deadly arc. So one of the first things, practice taking your bag off practice taking a decent grip with your bag and make sure you practice it with the bag that you typically have with you when you're traveling to work, from work, when you're going on holiday. Each bag is different and has different grip points. Then get used to being able to aggressively ward off strikes or stabs. You, know, you want to be explosive and venomous with it. You still want it at arm's reach, but you want to make sure there's enough force behind it that it muffles the blow okay you are playing for time and eventually it might come to pass that you need to do something physically to deal with this man so obviously you can muffle as soon as the knife stops moving then you can grab an underhook you can get double arm drags you can do other knife defenses so that's really really useful so if you imagine this is great for stopping the knife moving then I want to secure the knife arm and then I can move on to other knife defenses. If the blade is very short or the situation doesn't allow for it, another useful tool 
is getting that bag on the face and driving that knee in. But again, it's an explosive one, two. Straight off. Straight off. And then back to your defensive shielding. So if timing and space permits and you need to start throwing some offense in there, then as soon as you've got your vigorous bag blocking, you can drive this in knee at the same time, but be ready to fend off those further attacks. As soon as you get an opportunity where you can stop the arm moving long enough for you to grab it, abandon the bag, grab the arm, work from there. So learn about your knife orientated grappling. That's really, really important. But the bag for self-defense, whether it's punches, batons, knives of any size, decent grip, have it off your shoulder, make sure you proactively and venomously muffle it. And if you do need to be offensive, when you strike to the face, don't just put it there, think of it like a wrap. You're enclosing his face. You're not just putting it in front of the face, you're wrapping it around the face, because the face is a 3D object. Here, as soon as that's on, I can drive a knee in, other people can join in. But again, this is a fleeting millisecond in time. And we're off again. And we're off again. You can't hold it here, because it will stab many, many holes in me. This is in reality, if you've got no other recourse and you cannot grab that blade, you can momentarily blind, you can strike, and depending on the results of that strike, you can move on to grappling or further striking or to draw your own superior self-defense weapon. You've got lots of different options, but the humble bag can be very useful. And its main job, as I mentioned at the start of the video, is to buy you valuable seconds so you can orientate yourself and then you can plan your next steps or provide the time you need for support, assistance, or find something else that's more useful. But make sure you're not passive. You're still attacking, your mentality is still attacking. I'm attacking where that blade is, I'm attacking where that bat is, I'm attacking where that punch is coming from. And if I am striking to the face, no matter what he's got, a wrap works better than a shield, it doesn't cost me any more time, and it's then a perfect opportunity for groin strikes but making sure I rapidly move off and I'm ready and able and cognizant enough to defend myself. That's using a bag for self-defense.